Hey guys, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we are battling the heat once again. This is part two in our heat upgrade series. I don't know if that's a thing, I just made that up. So, But it sounds good. So we're fighting the heat here. And what we're gonna be doing as part of the continuing upgrades, as you can see, we did this in the last video. We reorganized the racks here just to test the orientation of not blowing straight out at me, but blowing in this direction over here of the exhaust. And the next thing we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take some wind measurements to see how strong our cross current is from the various intakes that we have along the back. And we've got the windows closed at the moment. They're normally closed. And what we're gonna be adding is two more intakes right here. And I believe, let me pick one of these up, it should be, it's actually larger, you can see that, than the window itself. So by putting these in, it really should be the equivalent of having those two windows opened all the time. So I've been uh, breaking these things down out of the packages and getting them ready to go here. I think I'm going to do a little bit of insulation like this right here with this tape, just to seal these up a little bit and get everything prepped up. We will uh, then take some measurements to see before and after what the wind pressure in here looks like and see how much this helps us out. We're gonna add the second uh, exhaust fan. So we've actually already got that here, but I have to decide, do I put it down here? Or one of my friends said, actually put it back here. And if you wanna talk about mixing the air and pulling it all the way across, that might be the best way to go there or there or there but also from the exterior, I have to think about the way that looks and I've got neighbors behind me and I'm already really nervous about drawing attention. So it might look better, more uniform having it here. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to think about that one. All right, so I wanted to show you something real quick. The reason I got these particular intakes, like the one you see right there that I installed originally with the shed, is because they are the perfect size to fit these gaps that we have right here. But also, they come with uh, a variety of things that I needed. One being, it's got this screen, which acts as a real simple filter, as you can see right over there. You can see some of the grit that's caught in there. And I can just use my compressor and kind of blow all that out when I'm doing some cleaning. But one of the issues I found after having the first one installed for a while is that these screens are put on here with an adhesive, kind of like a glue. And as the heat builds up in the shed during the summertime, uh, the adhesive starts to come off on certain areas right here. And so what I did, as you can see on that one, is I took some of this thermal tape and I just wrapped it around the edges to get a good clean seal on there so that any debris couldn't sneak in through the uh, frame and the screen right here. So I don't know if you're installing one of these and you've got a similar situation, uh, maybe something to think about. All right, so we've got our anemometer out and we're gonna do some tests real quick. Now, let's take a look first right under the exhaust fan. And we're right at about four and a half to five miles per hour. So right here on this intake, check this out. Right at about three, three and a half miles per hour, 3.3. .3. So right in front of the windows, about four and a half miles per hour. And then over here, very little, very little pressure, not even enough to register. And it's because these windows are open. All right, now I'm gonna show you what happens, how this changes once I close those windows, which increases the pressure on the different vents here. So now we're at, look at that, over five miles per hour on the wind coming through this. And there was a noticeable change in the sound right here of our exhaust fan. It's having to work harder and the fins on that exhaust right there actually drop down a little bit so it's working harder. And we'll grab a quick reading. I'll move this over to the center. There we go, three, four. Man, so you can just see how much impact these windows have when we get the second fan in wherever that is. We'll take some additional readings as well. 
All right, guys, so here we go. We've got all three of these vents in, and it is the following day here. And I was just gonna show you a few readings. So if you look around at the rigs here, it's gotten hot. Right now it's over 90 degrees, I think about 93, 92 or 93 outside here. It's mid-afternoon. And inside the shed, so right here at our Jawa rig, we're at 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 103. 102 down here at Boba Fett. Check that out. 108, 106, and then over here, our 5700 rig, it's off right now. 104, 105, and 102. And then most importantly, here at the wall, it's actually close to the wall, we're at 104. 104, that's the temperature sensor right here. And I've been working on mixing the air in here a little bit more with the recommendation of a friend of mine who's a chemical engineer. So I placed a fan down here kind of blowing upwards. This corner is sort of a problem area, but we'll get to that in a minute. But I guess the one thing I was just wanting to point out is that the temperature in here is a bit more uniform across all the rigs as compared to the wall. So we're not done with everything we've got to do, but we're definitely getting more mixing going on here. And these three vents or intakes do seem to be helping. So we're just gonna get a couple quick readings here. So there you go, we're at four, three and a half to four miles per hour. Look at that, five, 5.5. 5. And on the last one, look at that. 5.2 miles per hour and then over here at intake on the wall we're at about three miles per hour so right here under the exhaust we're at about 4.2 4.4 miles per hour so still holding steady yeah so what it looks like guys is that we're getting better at evenly distributing the airflow across the entire shed and the nice thing for me is these windows are down I was having to open those up to get just extra airflow inside here. And now with these in, I can close that and things are looking good. But it is the hottest part of the day. The goal is to be able to keep everything up and running smoothly throughout the day. So more work to do. All right guys, so I am in day two here and I am a little bit anxious about this next part. I am installing the second exhaust fan here, which is really needed to help take advantage of the new intakes that we've got. And now that we've hit 60 GPUs and hopefully we're going to creep up from there, we really need to get a lot of air moving over these cards. And that being said, I'm nervous just because of a couple things. One, I do want to be respectful of my neighbors. I am in an HOA here. I'm in a community with houses pretty close. The back side, they're all around me. so. Uh, I don't want to create a lot of noise and I will do some some testing uh, when we finish up here and Mitigate how loud the fans are so I'll do my best there uh, Again, just to be respectful of those people around me, but then also, you know I don't I, I'm nervous because I'm drawing attention to the shed when I get out here and I do construction for a couple hours here uh, They're gonna wonder what I'm doing. Why are two fans needed on the shed? Uh, because you can kind of get away with, with one exhaust fan because there's a lot of people that use that for pool equipment or uh, having generators in a shed and they need to do an exhaust. But then two, I'm just worried that people, they see me installing it, they might start to ask questions. And then just longer term, two running uh, here on the shed, if there's bad guys kind of lurking about, you know, uh, uh, in the woods or something like that, I don't want them to see uh, anything that draws attention to what we've got going on here. So I've got a little bit of anxiety about this. Again, if I was in a country environment or had acres, a uh, big backyard, maybe facing some woods or something like that, I wouldn't I wouldn't be worried about it at all. Uh, the, the zero issue, but I am a little bit concerned here. And I think I just need to dive in and, and, and just do it. You know, just, just do this and then mitigate whatever happens next as best I can and just kind of kind of hope for the best and that being said I've got uh, I've got my lucky crypto haven raven hat on as I'm doing work out here in the mining shed today and I've got my Nvidia uh, 
shirt on and maybe I'll get some good luck getting all of this wrapped up and trying to get all this airflow circulating properly throughout the shed here and we'll have everything zipped up for the rest of summer. So fingers crossed, hit that like button if you would. Give me a little bit of luck and let's dive into this and see how it goes. All right, so let me show you what I think we're gonna do here. We are gonna install another fan exactly like this here on this side of the wall so that we're pulling air all the way across the mining cave here. And it had always kind of been my intent to put that fan here, but I did have some local mining broskies come through and provide some recommendations and they thought for best mixing and airflow it might make sense to put it over here. And if, if we ever do put these shelves back up against that wall, which maybe we'll, we'll test again when this is all over, uh, it would help a lot having that over here. So what I need to do is I need to take this pegboard out and uh, start prepping this area here to get this, this fan installed and get some more airflow going. And this is the part I hate most because I've got to take down all of my rigs. I've got to take everything out of production and I just hate doing that. But I did plan this maintenance window during the hottest part of the day. Like I said, it's over 90 degrees, maybe 92, 93 outside right now. So it's gonna be rough on me outside in the sun, but uh, it's the best time to have these rigs offline while we're, while we're doing maintenance. So I'm gonna keep on shutting them down and we're gonna get this area prepped. Man, I hope this goes well. All right, here we go. All right, guys, the second fan is in, it's all done. It actually took me this afternoon after a uh, baseball tournament to get all the trim work, everything outside done. And I had to hurry a bit because we've got a storm coming this afternoon pretty bad one tonight and then throughout the day tomorrow it's pretty much just gonna storm all day long so hopefully everything gets dried up I sealed it really tight on the outside and uh, gave this one a reseal but yeah we'll get an immediate test right away but yeah immediately let me just tell you the airflow through here is really really strong right now with just these two fans and this is really good to know a few of these things I'm gonna tell you for those of you that might be in a community and you're dealing with uh, neighbors and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you the airflow. Look at that, we're over six and a half miles per hour. Look at that, that center one, 7.6. You can just see the airflow difference there. It's really, really strong. And as far as temperatures go, uh, it, it, so far with one day it's been a good news story early today we were above 90 degrees Fahrenheit here and the way I've got all the rigs set up is as the temperatures rise if it gets too hot as measured by the two exhaust fans here rigs start to shut down one by one on their own so they take action on their own and then as it cools down they come back up well none of my rigs shut down today everything stayed up and stayed mining which I, has not happened before. And then let me just show you one last thing. Over here, this is my 5700 rig. And if you saw this before, this, this rig was getting 108 to 110 Fahrenheit at times on the hotter days. And right now with this new exhaust fan, it's staying really, really cool. And I'm considering actually moving these 5700s up here where the test rig is and then just take the single GPU, move it down here. We've got a lot of cooling here with these AAA wave fans. It's right at the top, right near the exhaust. So that might improve those AMD cards, the situation there even better. So I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. I'm gonna uh, toss up an image. I did take some sound readings, decibel readings at the fence last night and it seemed completely reasonable. I think we're at 53, 54 decibels and Prior to that, with just one fan, we were at about 45 decibels at the fence at the back of my yard, which I think is very reasonable. If you're a neighbor, that's not even on the other side of the fence in their yard or at their back doors, anywhere around. That's just at my back fence. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. I, I guess the takeaway there is if you add one fan, it adds, and at least in my case with the fans that I'm using, added about, we'll call it eight to 10 decibels by adding this second fan right here. But man, I was worried about it. So far, my fears have, have kind of gone away. Um, 
but we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted over the coming weeks and months, and I'm so hoping. I mean, I can't just go adding a third fan and a fourth fan for the reasons I talked about, so I'm so hoping this gets me through the end of summer. I think I'm in a good spot with the 60 GPUs I've got, uh, but I'm really happy with the way things are right now. Okay, that being said, guys, I won't go on anymore. I'm gonna leave this the way it is, through the storms, get everything nice and stable in production here, and I'll come back in and maybe do some reorganization. I may try putting these against the back walls again in an upcoming video, just to see with this new airflow, uh, can I do that or is it better for them to be sitting out the way they are right now? I don't know, we'll, we'll test it all. We'll just keep playing around with things. So thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Secret heart, code monkey like you.